So officially my first year of teaching has finished. I am very exhausted, not gonna lie, but overall I had a really good experience. I think the biggest thing is that I'm very proud of myself for finishing the first year, if that makes sense. I was very nervous when I first started because I had to make sure that my teaching is on point, students will learn, and they'll do well at the end of the year. And that was something that has been on me the entire time and a lot of pressure. And looking back at it, I think every student took away something. They've learned a lot and definitely improved looking at test scores, especially like they have all improved. And I'm very grateful and proud of them to have them as my students for my first year and couldn't ask for a better group my first year. Although there has been many times where I have been stressed because of their behavior or they're not following the rules or expectations and to the point that I didn't want to come to school, not going to lie, because I was just too tired to constantly repeat myself and getting the class together to talk through it. It was just so stressful, but looking back, you know, those are some important moments that I have to teach as teachers, not just about the education, but it's also about how students interact with each other how students interact with adults and getting those behaviors on point and maturing more so that they are prepared for fourth and fifth grade and so on. Yes, I was a third grade teacher, so it was a bridge between the younger grades and the older grades. So it's like a, you know, nice group and nice age, I guess. Um, yeah, so at the beginning of the semester, yeah, it was just pressure and stress, like, figuring out the curriculum, building my lesson plans, understanding my students, all that, it was crazy. Like there was just so much going on. And every night I had to make sure that I was ready for the next day and the following weeks. And it was just a, just a stressful day, days multiple. <laughs> yeah, it was. Um, I was still figuring out my teaching style and routines, which I should have established earlier, that was on me, but as a new teacher, there's just so much going on that even those small things I forget and I later on regret, so that happened, yeah. It was chill at first at the same time with the teaching because for the curriculums, there are like not too much that we had to teach. I mean, we still had to teach a lot, but it wasn't as in depth compared to the middle and end of the semester. So that was my first, I guess my, it was in trimester. So the first trimester. And I think that was still the developing and learning phase for me as a teacher and understanding what I need to do in order to make sure that these students take away something at the end of the year and are prepared for fourth and fifth grade. So that happened, middle of the semester was also stressful. And this is when the behavior became more um, of an issue. I think the first two months, I wasn't really bothered with the issue and everything. It wasn't too bad, but during the middle of the semester or trimester or whatever, it was yeah, a lot. Things got chaotic. Students had drama. They weren't listening, paying attention and what so. And I had moments where I had to raise my voice, yell, keep them during recess because of their behaviors. It was a slow process, but definitely during that time, it was stressful and I was at the lowest point of my career. The teaching slowly became better. Like I've started to understand what I will need to teach, uh, became better at organizing and preparing for the following days and weeks. So that was better. I'm glad that I was able to pick up quickly and learn a lot throughout those time. I also started to use my uh, tools and supports and resources, such as my grade level team. I start to ask them, ask more questions and any advice that I can get. I use my reading and math consultants that help me for those subjects because those were the two biggest subjects that we had to teach. So I definitely ask more questions, which as a new educator, you have to do that because you don't know anything. You're coming in new. So it was great for me to step up and ask questions. <coughs> well, excuse me. 
yeah. During the, during the time, uh, I was kind of hesitant at times because I don't want to bother them. They're also busy, stressed out from students and what so. But at the same time, in order for me to become a better educator, I have to use my resources. And my grade level team, very supportive, very kind, you know, very helpful. I used them a lot and they helped me and got, it made me get through that or those couple months during the winter. Oh my God, yeah, looking back at it, it was a hectic winter. Kids had indoor recess, so they had a lot of energy still and it was just gloomy and they didn't have the motivation and then that tied into their behaviors and everything, oh my God. It was a tough, tough no, winter, but you know, I had to get through it. So I've, I was able to survive, thankfully. And the final trimester, or the spring, I guess, um, we had our state test, which was something that was pressuring me a lot because I had to make sure that my students um, did well. And it also reflects my teaching throughout the year. So I had to make sure that I have had lesson plans ready for them, practice tests ready for them, and making sure that these students know that this test is important for both myself and for them. But at the end of the day, they're still young. They're eight, eight, nine year old, eight, nine years old. So I can't really, you know, put too much pressure on them as well. So. Try to make sure that it was just do your best, take your time, you know, making sure that they are ready for that test. And that was the pressure and stress that I had that trimester. Every trimester I had some sort of stress. And that was my first year looking back, but at the same time, a lot to remember, a lot to cherish, a lot of grateful moments that I've had. And yeah, after that statewide test, Oh my God, I didn't do much. I didn't do much. <laughs> yeah, I looked at the scores. Overall, solid performance from all of them. Ideally, I wish that everyone was on grade level, but you know, some students learn slower than others or some students have other things that interrupts their learning or interferes with their learning. So you can't really complain. You know, they've done their best. That's what matters the most. And my principal and human resources, they all came up to me telling me that I've done a wonderful job looking at the test scores. And yeah, looking looking at it, you know, my students done a really good job and I'm very proud of them. So that took a lot of stress out of me because I have I knew that my students learned a lot and they have taken in things that I've taught throughout the year. and made me very proud. It was hard for me to tell throughout the year because I'm working with them every day, every day, whether they've actually learned something or whether they're actually developing and improving. But looking at those scores and, you know, those moments, it made me realize that my teaching was effective and I'm proud and grateful that these students were actually learning. Um, and yeah, the final couple weeks, I didn't do much try to build those relationships, continuously work on the behavior aspect because I don't want my following teachers, like fourth and fifth grade teachers to be stressed out from them. So I have to make sure that I work on those with them, model, go over the expectations and everything. And the last two weeks, oh, I was so sad. It was very sad. In the relaxing final two weeks, we had fun, we had class parties, we had our field trips. We organized a classroom, we had a lot of games, we went outside, all those things we've done. And as much as I was stressed throughout the year, that last day was very sad. It was very sad to say goodbye to my students, especially my first year. It's the first group, I'm gonna remember them forever. And I wanna make sure that they are successful in the future. So I'm gonna be cheering on throughout my life as well. It's sad to say goodbye. Oh, getting a little emotional, <laughs> being overdramatic, I guess, but um, 
Yeah, it was, also say, it was also hard for me to say goodbye to my two uh, grade level team. They're leaving as well. Actually three because one is changing grades as well. That's really sad because my coworkers were some of the reasons why I really wanted to come back to school every day and just teach because I get to talk to them, you know, talk about all the things that happens in school. And they really listened in to me and I've enjoyed talking to them. Like they are wonderful people. And it's sad to say goodbye to three of them. So I, once again, I wanna say thank you to all of them. And to my students as well, great parents. I had really flexible parents. They understood that I was a new teacher and they were, you know, flexible with my teaching. We talked about how we can improve student goals and student academics and I appreciate them a lot. Thank you for understanding and supporting me as my first year teacher. Yeah, it's really sad to say goodbye to them. I can't believe it's already over. It went by quickly, like quickly because it's already summer and it feels like I just started teaching literally a couple weeks ago. But that's how teaching works, I guess. And I'm so glad that my first year is done. Never have to experience that ever again. But I told my students that my doors are always open for them to come visit because at the end of the day, you know, I love each and one of them. They've worked really hard. They've gone through all the hard moments and tough times and we all survived our third grade year. So, you know, props to them for everything. And I wrote a car for each and one of them as well because every one of them had their own unique points and moments. So I had to make sure that I wrote that down for them. And hopefully they don't forget about me as their third grade teacher and their first male teacher in elementary school. So once again, I appreciate every one of you guys for supporting me as my first year teacher. My students, thank you very much. I am going to miss you guys a lot, but you can always come visit me. I'll come visit you next year. And to my coworkers, thank you very much for having me as a new teacher at your school. It really meant a lot and I'm so glad and grateful to be part of that school. So if you liked it, please like and subscribe and please support my journey as a teacher. So peace out.